going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about dropshipping the elixir of life. I mean, coffee. We're going to be talking about dropshipping coffee. Coffee, elixir of life, same thing. This drink, I like it. Another! We're going to be talking about what you need to get started, what to look out for, and what are some of the best suppliers to actually source your coffee from. All of that and more will be covered in today's video, and as always, will also be covered in our easy to reference cheat sheet. If you want that, just make sure to comment down below the hashtag coffee dropshipping and let me know what your takeaway is from this video. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. All right, with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, first things first, why dropship coffee? Well, for one, it's an extremely lucrative business simply because half of the entire world, if not more than that, absolutely loves coffee. At least in the United States, pretty much every single person here drinks coffee at the start of their day. And trust me when I say that, people absolutely need their coffee. That's why you see people at Starbucks every single morning spending an insane amount of money. Aside from that, there's tons of different types of coffees and accessories that you can start drop shipping, all of which are pretty much in demand throughout the entire year, whether it's for personal use or simply to give as a gift. People give coffee as a gift all the time, especially exotic coffee and accessories for your coffee like mugs. So you drink unsweetened cinnamon light soy lattes. I do. Mm. It's like Christmas in a cup. Now, when it comes to drop shipping your coffee, there's three basic types of models that you can follow. For one, you're gonna have white label, then you're gonna have private label, and you have the option to be able to drop ship already established coffee brands. So with white label, you can go ahead and drop ship all of these different types of coffee products under your own brand. So everything is gonna be branded under your own brand name. Aside from that, we also have private labeling. So with private labeling, it's kind of the same as white labeling, except you have a bit more control over what you're actually offering. When it comes to private label drop shipping, you have the option to pretty much control the entire thing, whether it be the ingredients that go into whatever it is that you're selling or the different types of colors that you use for your packaging and more. So pretty much private labeling gives you a lot more control over the product specifications and the entire branding aspect of whatever product it is that you're drop shipping. And then you have drop shipping an actual brand that's already established. Something like, let's say, Folgers, or for those of you that don't know, this huge brand here in Miami called Bustelo, which is a Cuban coffee. Now, personally, as I always say, try to stay away from anything that's already branded. So I would recommend going with either white label or private labeling. Now, with that being said, let's answer one of the biggest questions when it comes to dropshipping coffee. Is it legal? And the answer to that is, yeah, 100%. Dropshipping coffee is entirely legal. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but there are a few different rules that you need to follow. So for one, as always, like we always say, make sure you have your taxes in order. Wherever it is that you're dropshipping, whether that be the US, Canada, UK, Germany, Australia, wherever it is that you're dropshipping your products to, always make sure you check out the local laws and regulations because you're gonna need to pay taxes pretty much anywhere that you drop ship. And this is not something that you want to skip. You don't wanna land in legal trouble because you didn't pay your taxes. This can cause a lot more headaches than you can even imagine, trust me. So always make sure to check out wherever it is that you're drop shipping to, always make sure to check out the rules and the regulations, especially when it comes to their taxes. Now, speaking of rules and regulations, you also need to make sure that you have any applicable licenses and any applicable permits. Now, again, this is gonna vary by location, but since this is something that people are gonna be consuming, it's something that you need to look into. You need to make sure that your business is fully compliant. Again, we're dropshipping something that people are gonna consume. And when it comes to this, it can get kind of sensitive. So again, just always make sure that you check local laws and regulations and make sure you have all of the proper documentation. Obviously, we also need to be transparent with our customers. We can't be telling them that they're gonna receive their product in two days if shipping really doesn't take two days and it takes about a week. So always make sure that all of your different policies are clear, whether that be your shipping policy or your return policy. So to get started drop shipping coffee, there's a few simple steps that you need to follow. And honestly, it's like pretty much drop shipping anything else. It's pretty simple to get started. The first thing that you need to do, you need to select a selling channel. Now, since we are selling coffee, a consumable, we're gonna be kind of limited in our options. So for this, our main selling platforms are gonna be either our own websites or eBay or Amazon. So for the most part, we're gonna be dropshipping on Shopify, Wix, or WooCommerce, Amazon, or eBay. 
My personal recommendation, I love Shopify, especially for something like this. The reason is because if you're white labeling or you're private labeling and you're actually trying to grow your own brand, then being able to customize your website is going to really help you get this done. So being able to match your website with your products, it's going to make a huge impact on your customers. And even subconsciously, they're going to see that everything matches. So it does build a little bit of extra trust in them. So that way they'll actually make a purchase from you. Now you need to decide, are you going to go white label or are you going to go private label? Remember with white labeling, you're going to be able to pretty much slap your brand on something that's already made and sell it as your own. Whereas with private labeling, you're going to have a bit more hand in the actual production process. So you can create your own blends of coffee if you choose to do so with private labeling. But always remember this, when it comes to private labeling, you are going to most of the time have a little bit of extra cost simply because you're going to have to pay for a few things up front. Most of the time, in order to actually make any of these things that are fully customizable, like a custom coffee blend, manufacturers aren't going to do this for just one order. They're going to do this for a big batch of orders, and then they're going to ship out each individual order as you get orders. So you're still drop shipping, but you do have to pay for something up front. In most cases, this isn't always the case. It's going to depend on your supplier. Personally, I would start with white labeling because it's just going to make it that much easier. Unless you really are a deep down coffee enthusiast who really knows their coffee and you know how to make your own blends and what works with what, I would stick to the simpler version and just white label it. You must really like the coffee. Next, we need to actually create our store. So in order to do this, like I said, I personally recommend Shopify. Try building your brand around your product and make sure all of your branding is matching. Make sure everything's coherent. Now, I know a lot of us aren't exactly the best at creating Shopify stores. Designing isn't everyone's forte and I completely understand. It's happened to me. My designing isn't necessarily the best, but I'm going to show you right now one way to make this a lot easier for you. So check this out. If you're signed on to AutoDS and you're a member, you have the option to be able to create a Shopify store using AI. And this is all done completely for you. Check this out. So once you're a member of AutoDS, or if you're not a member just yet, and you're looking to sign up, you can get started right now for just $1 for the next two weeks. But once you sign on and you have everything set up, then what you need to do is go ahead and add your store. If you're a new member up here, it'll tell you to add a store. If you're an existing member, you can just click up here and then go to add store. From here, we're going to go ahead and click on Shopify store, build with AI. And we're going to choose the middle option. Now, the best part about this is that on top of completely making your store for you, it's also going to come preloaded with a few winning products. So the next thing we need to do is actually pick a niche. Now, unfortunately, there's no coffee niche, but what we can do is we can choose one of these other ones and then use them as a template to be able to customize it and just make it a lot easier for us. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on I'm not sure, which is pretty much going to give us a generic store. So let's choose I'm not sure and click on next. And the AutoDS AI is building the store for us. All right, now that AutoDS created our store for us, then let's just go ahead and quickly check it out. So this is our online store. And I just realized that I accidentally clicked back and I clicked on pets by accident. So it ended up making a pet store. But either way, what we can do here is we can go ahead and take all of this and simply just use it as a template. So from here, what we can do is simply just change the logo, change this banner image, change some of the different products. And if you want to change around some of the colors, like take off this pink and make it brown to make it a bit more coffee-ish, then you can go ahead and just start customizing it that way. But overall, what this does is it really does speed up the entire process of making your own store because we all know that that takes a long time. And really quick, another reason that I wanted to show you this is because, again, since this is being made with AI, we even have all of our different policy pages up and running. The only thing that we would need to do is just go ahead and go into them and change things like the store name and the address and stuff like that. But overall, everything's pretty much done for you. Then we need to go ahead and select a supplier. So where are we going to go ahead and source all of our different coffee products from? Well, in a minute, I'm going to give you a few different suppliers that you can use for your coffee dropshipping business. But just bear with me for one second. And then after you choose your supplier, then it's up to you to start marketing your business. Again, if you're running your own business and you're running your own website, it's up to you to bring in that traffic. So you're going to be advertising on platforms like, let's say, Facebook ads, TikTok, Snapchat ads, Instagram ads, email marketing. There's tons of different ways that you can start marketing your business. My personal favorite, it's always going to be TikTok. TikTok is one of the easiest ways to go viral 
and it's one of the easiest ways to start getting a lot of organic traffic. So onto our suppliers. Now, the first supplier I'm going to give you is going to be the AutoDS handpicked products and the AutoDS private suppliers and marketplace. Now on AutoDS, you can find tons of different products all geared towards pretty much any niche that you can think of. Now, right now we are on the marketplace and I simply just looked up coffee. And these are all of the different types of products on here that you can start dropshipping in your store. So as you can see, there's different types of coffees along with different types of coffee accessories. Now, one of the best parts of using AutoDS as one of your main suppliers is the fact that you can import your products directly from the screen. So you have the option to simply just click on import draft, choose your store. In my case, I'm going to go ahead with the Shopify store that we just made. And then again, just click on import draft and then it's going to be sent over to your draft section on here. You can go ahead and click on edit and you can optimize anything that you need. You can optimize your title, your description, change over the different variants, increase the prices, and you can even add, delete or edit images directly from the screen. Now, one cool thing about using this system is the fact that you have an AI optimizer. So you can use AI to optimize your titles and your descriptions. That way you don't even have to start thinking about what title you're going to use or how you're going to describe your products. AI is going to do the entire thing for you. Also, if you have problems with your pricing, simply go to the variation section, click on edit, and here it's going to be super streamlined for you. So how much do you have for fees? Let's say in Shopify, I'm getting charged about two to 3% when it comes to credit card fees. So I'm going to do 3%. I think when it comes to the dollar amount, it's 20 cents for each order. And then how much profit do, do we want to make? Mm, I want to make 60% profit. So with this, we can go ahead and sell our products for $37 and 62 cents or 39.99, let's say just to round it. But selling it at 37.62 is going to give us a total profit of $17.99. Now this profit is going to be after your fees. So this 3% in fees and these 20 cents in fees are not going to be included in your profit. That is specifically taken into account for your fees. So the profit that you see here, that's going to be your actual profit. Pretty easy, huh? It really takes the guesswork out of pricing. And I know that that's a lot of people's issues. Aside from that though, you also have the option for print on demand. And when it comes to print on demand, you can offer coffee merchandise. So if you have some pretty funny sayings for coffee lovers or anything like that, maybe some funny coffee puns, you can go ahead and put those on any one of these t-shirts, hoodies, onesies, or whatever it is that you see on here. And you can start selling that as well. But just as an extra accessory that you can offer your customers, you also have things like tumblers that are going to keep your coffee hot and mugs. So with the auto DS print on demand section, you have the option to really expand your product line as well. Now, the next suppliers I'm going to talk about are outstanding suppliers. They all have very good customer service and they have really good shipping times. But unfortunately, they don't have the integration option to be able to integrate with AutoDS to be able to automate your entire dropshipping process. So with the suppliers I'm about to mention, you're not going to have the option for automatic importing or automatic order fulfillment, unfortunately. But you can still take them into consideration because they are good dropshipping suppliers in the coffee niche. And with that, the first option we have is Path Coffee Roasters. Now, Path Coffee Roasters are actually dedicated to dropshippers. So they have an entire dropshipping program. Also, there's a lot of companies out there that charge you a monthly fee to be able to dropship their products. This company doesn't do that. Now, their coffee is being sourced from Central and South America, along with Indonesia and Africa. So you have quite the variety of coffees. And to top things off, you actually have personal one on one support with your own account manager. So if you ever have any questions or if you ever need anything, you can reach out to your account manager and they'll get you settled pretty much like that. Drip Shipper is up next, and I'm pretty sure you've probably heard of this one. If you've looked into coffee drop shipping, this is actually one of the most popular ones out there. Drip Shipper actually specializes in private labeling. So if that's something that you're into, you want to check them out. So with Drip Shipper, pretty much anything that you source from them, it's going to be branded with your brand. On top of that, it's extremely beginner friendly. Most people can get started within five to 10 minutes. As far as their product variety, they have wholesaling on over 40 different types of coffee beans and flavored coffees. So these can be sourced either through wholesaling or through drop shipping. And honestly, probably one of the most important things, they ensure compliance with any FDA regulations. So legally wise, you're pretty much covered. Of course, you do still need to check your local laws, but just so you know. 
Aroma Ridge is up next, and they too also have a dropshipping program. So that way you can get started easily dropshipping their products. Rumble Coffee Roasters is up next with ethically sourced and specialty grade coffees. Now they have tailored coffee beans that are roasted to specific flavor profiles. They do have a dropshipping program, but if you wanna learn more about that, you are gonna to have to reach out to them directly, so that way they can give you a bit more details. Lemony Coffee is up next, and they have an extensive selection of different types of coffees. They offer espresso blends, single origin coffees, and they even offer decaf options, which, who likes decaf? <laughs> I'll get decaf. Yeah, wrong with you. As far as their ordering and shipping, their system is pretty easy to use, pretty streamlined, and the best thing is, is that they ship next day. And last but not least, we have Temecula Coffee Roasters. One thing that I really like about them is that they have a completely clear pricing structure. So they don't have any hidden fees. They're not gonna charge you for anything extra. The price you see is the price you pay. On top of that, they also offer label design customization that is gonna comply with FDA regulations. So you can customize your labels and you can rest assured that all of the information that needs to be on there to stay compliant will be on there. Another really cool thing about this company, Temecula, is that they actually offer training sessions. That's something that nobody else offers. So they have weekly training sessions through Zoom where you can ask any questions that you need the answer to. So it's really cool because you're actually gonna have somebody in front of you that you can ask any question to for whatever issues that you have in the coffee niche. They help their clients create, market, and sell their products efficiently. So that's pretty much everything that you need to know on how to get started dropshipping coffee. It's really not that complicated and it's kind of just like starting any other dropshipping business or any other dropshipping store, except you just need to find the right suppliers that specialize in coffee. Now, again, there's a few other things that go into it, like being able to offer different types of accessories, or different types of products that can go with your coffee. But overall, it's something that's very well worth investing some time into. Coffee is a very lucrative business and it's something that people purchase every single day and they consume it every single day. So remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet with all of the information that I gave you in today's video, along with all of the different links to the suppliers and any tips and tricks, make sure you go ahead and comment down below the hashtag coffee dropshipping along with your takeaway from this video. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you did make it this far, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Once again, huge thank you for, to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with Out of DS, and I'll catch you all next time.